Hello again friends. It seems like my um, reviews are doomed to failure because I keep running out of batteries. I keep running out of cameras. I can't upload it to YouTube. I'm just about ready to go crazy. Anyway, so hopefully I'll try and make this one quick so that I can actually have battery to finish this dang thing. Um, so I'm just going to jump in. This is Candles by Victoria Review Part 3. First off, we have Breakfast in Vermont. This one I was expecting to be something else. I was expecting it to be like pancakes and syrup and butter and coffee and, you know, just a pancake breakfast. But this, um, I haven't melted it in a while, so my review is probably going to be a little rusty. Um, it doesn't smell like that at all to me. It smells like, um, maybe white chocolate and maybe a little bit of syrupy pancakes in the background but that's about it it's really good it blooms once you melt it um, but that's all I've got on this one sorry guys uh, next this should be in my favorites review which will be my next one but I needed to keep the reviews even, so I added it to this one. And this one, I know Cali Girl loves this one. Shout out! Whoop, whoop. Um, it's Hello Dolly. This one, the description for it is supposed to be um, bubbling butterscotch sundae, um, coconut cream pie, and fudge brownie. And let me tell you guys, I've had this on my wish list forever. And, you know, I kept putting it off, but then I got it in the round robin, and I was like, holy crap, I'm a believer. I'm a believer! It smells so good. First off, you get the butterscotch, and you get the coconut cream pie. They melt together so smoothly. Oh, it's so good. To be honest, I don't really... Oh, I got wax all up my nose. Um, I don't really smell a lot of the fudge brownie. But when I melted this one, I remember it being so creamy and so delicious that I just wanted to drink the wax. And that would be a very bad idea. Um, but this one is really, 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 really good. Get it. You'll be a believer too. Uh, next we have got Christmas Cabin. And this is like a nice bright cranberry red color. Um, this one, it's not one of my favorites. Uh, it, it, it's different. Um, it smells like it might have a little bit of spice in there, just a little bit. But then it's got berries, and I couldn't tell you what kind of berries they were. Maybe a strawberry or a raspberry. But it's it's a nice scent. It's just not, not my favorite. Um, it kind of just says almost fall to me, but not really. It doesn't really have a season. Um, next, we've got White Chocolate Caribou. And this one, again, to be honest, when I first got it, I really didn't care for it because to me, it smelled like cigarette smoke. And that was really kind of gross to me. But um, so I'm sorry to those of you who smoke. Uh, but now after I've let it sit and coagulate for a little while um it's it's nice it's very light i would suggest if you got one of these um if you got the mini put it in a small room because it's light enough that it will scent that room um i wouldn't try it in a big room in this size because you won't smell it at all um sorry i say um a lot First I smell roasted cashews, and I love cashews. And then I get um, white chocolate. So it's almost kind of like a creamy white chocolate cocoa. I still get kind of a, kind of an after hint of um, smoke, but it's not necessarily the cigarette smoke this time. It's, it's nice, it's light. Yeah, I like it. I like it. It's not my favorite, but I do like it. Uh, next, I got Warm Christmas Splendor. 
Now this one, I don't like peppermint candles, even though I want to try peppermint bark. Um, it, it's, I don't really do peppermint candles because I don't know, they just stink me out for some reason. This one smells to me like how a Christmas cabin I imagine in the woods should smell. It's, it's got peppermint and it's got some form of, of spice to it. It's really nice. I really like it when you burn it. It's a really warm, cozy smell. Um, when you melt it, I get less of the peppermint and more of the spice, but overall they mesh together well and it's really, really a good scent. Um, perfect for Christmas. Uh, the infamous pumpkin pickin. It's this beautiful acorn gold color. Oh, I love it. Now, if you don't like spice, um, this candle is for you. Uh, it's got very, very, very light on the spice. And it smells literally like you opened a can of pumpkin. And it's it's that wonderful pumpkiny, squashy fall, uh, crispy, crunchy leaves kind of pumpkin. Oh, makes me want to curl up and eat a pumpkin pie. That would be bad. Um, and it's got some vanilla in it, so it's it's a very mellow pumpkin scent. I really like this one, as you can tell, because it's got like an inch left in it. Mm. Yeah, pumpkin picking, it's great. People on the boards are not steering you wrong. And then lastly for this one, this little bad boy right here. This is my create a scent. Uh, I mixed Fluffernutter, and if any of you have not smelled Fluffernutter yet, what is wrong with you? I mean, seriously, it's so good. Um, Fluffernutter is marshmallow cream and peanut butter, and oh, I love it. Oh, so good, so good, so good. Sorry, I, I told you I'm a little weird. Um, and I mixed buttery caramel in it, and I love, 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 love caramel. I could drink it, I could bathe in it, I could wear it, I could live in it. I love caramel. So this, um, mm, it's so good. Mm, you can smell right off the caramel and the peanut butter. It like mixes together and makes this yummy love child of peanut buttery caramelness. Oh, sorry, I forgot to tell you, I named it Fluffy Caramel. I know, original, right? Um, mm, yeah, when you burn this one, all the scents just melt together into this gooey, sticky treat that you just want to get a spoon and eat it. Um, you get kind of that warm, caramely, like homemade caramel kind of smell, and then you get the sweet of the marshmallow cream and the nutty, yummy crunchiness of the peanut butter. It's so good. Mm. So yeah, Fluffernutter and Buttery Caramel makes Fluffy Caramel. So yeah, I hope you guys are liking my reviews so far because I'm an amateur at this. So uh, stay tuned for part four, which has got all of my favorite scents in it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what that was. Okay, bye-bye now.